glad you're all able to join us here for the special remembrance and celebration of my father, Donu's life. He, I think, would be very happy if he could be watching what's happening here today, the people who've come and the sentiments that we have in our hearts. It's perhaps obvious to many of you why we're literally here today in Estonia. This is his homeland, this is my homeland, my mother's homeland. And with our children, we've been traveling through the country uh, this last week and feel very honored to be able to bring my father's ashes back to his homeland, back to the Baltic Sea. Um, as probably some of you know, this was one of the last things my father saw about 72 years ago when he was leaving Tallinn in 1944. Um, well, for what he thought might be the last time, he witnessed the flag being machine gunned down from Pink Krumen. He saw bombs going off on purpose to ruin the harbor for the occupants to come, the long Soviet occupation to come. And he barely made it out. I won't belabor the story now, but later, if anyone hasn't heard the story, I'd, I'd be happy to relay the longer version of it. In fact, Casper has recorded that on, on video, um, which I'm very grateful for. But after 60 years of separation, um, I finally convinced my dad to come back to Estonia. And we did in 2004. It was uh, the lure, the attraction of a father-son trip, just the two of us, to come to Estonia to visit Tallinn and Skype and a variety of other things that were very exciting at the time. And so he and I had what was his first trip back to Estonia, the first of many to come. And that was, again, 60-year gap between when he was six years old and when he was 66 years old. So 60 years after leaving, he came back for the first time. Unfortunately, 70 years after leaving, he, he passed away. And he was very dear to all of us. And, and we'll be saying, and I'll be saying some more comments later about my remembrance of him. I mainly, right now, I'm just going to focus on why we're here, what this place means to him. And um, in a moment, I'm going to spread his ashes on the water and throw a wreath as well. And then I'm going to invite my children to say a few words and three as well. And um, and then later we'll be going, just so you understand, we'll be going later to the hotel and or in a restaurant. We can have longer comments, but we'll have rose petals if anyone wants to make a brief comment here and, and say a few words and throw uh, flowers in the ocean. That is, of course, welcome as well. So, whew, um, let me also say I've never been to a funeral before. So this is the first time I've ever been to a funeral, which is a bizarre situation in its own right. Um, but I'm, it's long overdue, and I really am glad to be here to be honoring him. Um, I know there are the roses. So we are going to be scattering his physical remains back to the Baltic, back to his homeland for which he was so proud. I grew up with the pride of his origin passing through me, and uh, to this day, consider myself Estonian, consider this my homeland. Um, he, even though we are spreading his physical remains, obviously his spirit carries on in family, in the things he's taught us, in the ripples of his actions carrying forward through generations. The path he started to follow in science and engineering, I certainly have been following, and I suspect some in our family might be following as well. And that uh, is a form of con continuity. Um, ripples of his life carried forward. So even though we're now spreading his remains physically here back to his homeland, um, there's a piece of him in each of us that, uh, that carries on. So thank you, and I'm now going to hope this works. Mm -hmm. 